everybody and welcome to this lesson on inversions. This is where we are going to take our chord sequence and we're going to look at how we can make it a little bit more musical and a little bit easier to play depending on what instrument you play and we can build harmonies a little bit easier that sound better. But first let's look at what exactly inversions are. So there are th three different ways primarily that a triad can be played. In root position, which is where the root note is at the bottom, the third is above, the fifth is on top. This is how we notated the chords in our chord sequence in the previous lesson, it's just standard. This is how you begin to notate it. After you've got all the chords down, then you can start messing about with inversions. First inversion is where the root note has been moved up an octave. C major, second inversion, is where the third as well as the root note has been moved up an octave. So it looks very different. The shape looks very different. It sounds different. And it makes even more sense when chords are combined together in a chord sequence, as we will see and hear in a minute. So now coming back to our chord sequence, let's see how using inversions can make it a bit easier to play, especially on instruments like piano, and make it sound better. This is our original chord sequence, right? We've got C major, F major, G major, C major. Root position. So by starting off with the first C major chord in first inversion, the C note, the root note, is going to be played at the same pitch in both C major and F major because the note C is in both C major and F major. As you can see, it's the same note. Then by ending the chord sequence with C major in second inversion, the G note, as the arrow is pointing to, check it out, it will be played at the same pitch in the final C major chord. And by using these inversions, it's easier to play and sounds better. As you could hear, sounds beautiful, if I might say so myself. Join me in the next lesson where we are going to go even further. We're going to look at passing chords and how they could be used to even further enhance chord sequences.